In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to enable the private app setting in the BuddyBoss app. This will force your members to log into the app before they are able to see any of the app's content. By default, just like on the web, the app's content is publicly visible to anyone who downloads it. However, this can be easily toggled through the WordPress admin, which I will show you in a moment. But first, let me show you how the app behaves before making it private. As you can see, when we download the app and first open it, we are taken to a login screen. From here, we can either log into the app or create a new account. But if we are not yet ready to sign up and we just want to explore the app first, we can always tap on continue without logging in. From here, we're able to view all BuddyBoss platform content that has been set to public. We can also view LearnDash courses and other public app content. Let's check out the newsfeed. We can see that John uploaded a document. Let's try to comment on this activity post. Because I'm logged out, this modal pops up, prompting me to log in first. I can also access the forgot password screen from within the modal, and I can come back here and create a new account from within the modal, and I can always close the modal to return back to the app content. Now let's head over to Members, and we'll tap on Neville's profile, and then let's try to send her a message. As you can see, we are again greeted with the login modal. The guiding philosophy here is to give the visitor just enough content to look around and to show them the kinds of fun things they will be able to do after logging in, but then to present them with the login modal after every attempted interaction. Because of course your whole goal is to get the user to either log in or create an account. Let's go back to members for a moment. Just in case the user never tries to interact with any of the content, we've made sure they will still end up in the login modal by adding this profile icon to the top right of every screen. Anytime I tap this icon, I'm again taken into the login modal. So now let's go into the WordPress admin so that I can show you how to make the app private so that all content is hidden until the user either logs in or creates a new account. I am now in the WordPress admin at BuddyBoss app settings general, and we can scroll down here to privacy. And to enable private app, I can simply check this box, restrict app access to only logged in members. And then we can scroll down here and click on Save Changes. For those of you using BuddyBoss platform, this feature should be familiar to you. If I go into BuddyBoss Settings General and scroll down here to the same privacy section, it works just like private website, except that this feature here is for the app instead of the web. Now that we've enabled private app, let's go see how our app behaves. First, we will need to hard quit the app. And after relaunching it, we are taken back to our login screen, except now the option to continue without logging in has been removed. Now we can only log in or create a new account. All app content has been hidden. And that's it. We hope you find this feature super useful.